हेलो फोक्स दिस इज सिद्धार्थ वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल ऑटोमेट विद सिद्धार्थ दैट्स मी इन दिस चैनल वी यूजली डिस्कस अबाउट ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग मैवन गेट जेनकिन डेवॉप्स राइट एस डी ई टी मोस्टली मोस्ट ऑफ द सीशन आर ऑन एस डी टी आई डू शेयर लॉड ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विथ आंसर्स और हाउ टू डील विद प्रोडक्ट कंपनीज इंटरव्यू सेशन सो स्टे ट्यून्ड एंड लेट स्टार्ट विथ टूडे सेशन Okay, so we will learn how to identify the shadow DOM, right? Shadow root, basically, for this button, right? This uh, micro voice or search by voice button. So now what happens when we try to identify this uh, with inspect? Usually, we don't get any selectors hub or anything over here, right? Which we usually get when we try to open any uh, website. So, for example, if I do inspect over here, then I can see that. Uh, selector service available and it is easy for us to identify but when we open a default um, Google Chrome without any URL then basically we don't get those tools over here so now what's the option we have the re main reason behind it is those are inside our shadow root right so first of all what you should do you should minimize everything that we have over here for example we have head and we have body so first what we will do we will try to maximize this body okay and then we will see what is the first element we can see we can see that iframe is there and there is an ntp app so our search by voice button is inside this ntp app inside shadow root and then it is inside this uh, div id search box container then it is inside uh, i guess this one div id or uh, let me check it is inside this one i guess yeah cr most visited then again shadow root i guess and then this one let's check once again just to clarify we are reaching the right one or not yeah so how the flow works first we have a body then ntp app then shadow root then again div right and then this search box container then we have again shadow root then we have this dyd then we have this button search so now whenever we have to write a complete um, path which we can identify and we can highlight it over here and just to let you know that we don't have selectors of our crow path over here so that we can use it for highlight so what we are going to use we are going to use this console tab right so before going into the console tab we need to first see that how this breakdown is happening right because we need to direct it in that sequence okay so now how to write that sequence how we are going to identify i'm going to show you over here live so that you folks can understand like what exactly you should do when you get a new one okay rather than just fixing this one we should understand the concept so that if any another thing will come in the interview or while working you should be able to do it of your own so the first thing we are going to use this console okay in console what you need to do first we are going to type document okay dot query query selector will always come over here document dot query selector and this one should be the first element what is which is my first element inside body my first element is ntp app because NT, ntp have this shadow root and then we will reach out to our target element but where it starts after body you will not add body so anything after body so what it start ntp app right so this is basically the property so what i am going to do inside the selectors um, query selector i am going to pass ntp hyphen app close it with colon semicolon and then press enter okay so here there is a spelling mistake so we are going to rectify that We can take this one okay if you can see document dot query selector ntp hyphen app right so control c come over here control v okay we already have this one so i don't think so we have to do we can utilize this part okay let me close this expression and this one we will use this one so document dot query selector ntp hyphen app semicolon press on enter once you press on enter you should be able to see this one can you see ntp hyphen app 
if you move your cursor towards that it will identify the whole page if you can notice over here it is entirely blue that means it is able to highlight the entire page correct so now what is our next target our next target is shadow root okay so now we how we can add shadow root we can just go over here put a dot and then we can call shadow if you can see the option automatically came shadow root again press enter and see if it is present is it is present document fragment right it is see it is redirecting so if you click on this one it will redirect you to the page see it redirect me to the shadow root so until now it's working fine what is our next target inside shadow root dvd right this is my dvd this div is basically id content but there is only one div we have so if we write only div also it should be able to work because we have only one div over there so what we can do dot whenever you have to identify or provide any properties you will use query selector right so query selector and what is the identifier we have the property div div enter c div content can you see now it is coming on the lower section div content so till this one we are fine now let's go back to the elements again and then what we have we inside this div we have another div that is search box container correct and we have one cr cr one more div so we need to identify this div with this id whenever you have to identify div with id okay in the console what you need to do you need to use hashtag right so if you, if i will click on this it will automatically show if you notice over here can you see in the lower section see here also it is identifying right div hashtag search box container exactly same thing we need to put over there so what i need to do again dot right so after dot what we will do we will write query selector again query selector and we need to pass the value of div hashtag right and the value is search box container search it is advisable to copy paste okay don't type it because you we will make mistake container right and then we need to close it i guess there is one more additional over here enter so it is returning null that means something we have written wrong over here container div query selector div hashtag search box container uh, it is returning null div hashtag search box uh, container okay this b would be small or capital let's see uh, the b is small that's why it's wise to copy paste right because if we don't copy paste this problems will happen copy paste right enter can you see div search now we are able to reach to this box correct now we are at box so what we need to do next next we need to see where is our target element so everything is inside this cr search box then first we need to identify this cr search box too because everything is inside this cr search box so how to identify this this is the property cr hyphen search box right inside that we have the shadow root inside that our element is residing so first so now we we will do cr search box over here so let's go to the console dot we will use again query selector and we are going to use the first property that we have that is cr hyphen search and box let me just check if it is correct or not i will press and enter so if it is redirecting then it is redirecting properly then we need to come into shadow root so inside the shadow root we need to first check where is our element located so if you notice inside shadow root there is a div inside that div i guess this bottom bottom button id is present so shadow root div button id still three more uh, step is uh, required over here what we will do now dot shadow dot shadow so we will put dot shadow root then dot again query selector query selector and our object we need to again go and check so shadow root inside that div id input wrapper let me see if there is another div it doesn't have any more div so only div should work okay so wherever required you can go with single div but 
as per the standards they say that always go with kind of your div plus id it would be good div plus id means div hashtag input wrapper right but here i guess uh, only div should also work because there is only one div i can see right so if there is only one div it usually get identified see it is able to identify input wrapper because there is only one div div if it is multiple div it will not work okay it is one div that that's why it is working so inside the div what we have right now let's see inside the div we have button id voice search button so button hashtag uh, voice search button we should do so now what we will do we will go to the console here i will press dot query selector and i will put like colon 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 and i will put button and we will go and copy paste this one okay because there is probability we will do mistake in writing it copy paste it entirely press and enter now let's see where are we can you see it is highlighting so now this is so this is a little bit tricky right it is not like very easy because you need to move one after another right you cannot just directly jump into that you need to move one after another then only you can reach this so sometime identifying this shadow roots the easiest path that i would suggest first you open the you go in the reverse uh, strategy reverse strategy means first you write this one okay button id voice search button then minimize this and see which one you need to identify dvid input wrapper we will just try to add this input wrapper as a good standard okay so here we will see it is not creating problem for us okay so now what we are going to do we are going to pick this wherever we have used only div we will replace it because that's not the right standard it may create problem during interviews it is able to identify right now this query selector after ntp app also should be changed right ntp app then div id equal to content so div hashtag content should be there so here we will replace it with div hashtag content enter see it is still able to identify so now so now let me finish now uh, once we um, create this one what we need to do we need to pass it along with our javascript executor that is one of the best way to deal with it okay now there is one more thing we need to point out over here as i told you need to go in a reverse way reverse way means first we need to look into this voice search button then we need to minimize this one identify input wrapper close this then go where it is located identify shadow root close this then go up and identify cr search box close this then see who is on the top dvid search box container close this then come over here div id content close this then come to shadow root close this and then ntp app close this this is how you we should identify it should not like from top to bottom it should be bottom to top so once you complete writing you should the approach should be bottom to top it would be easy for you because top to bottom people usually get confused because there are a lot of options over there so ideal approach is bottom to top first thing second thing after each but when you understanding bottom to top while writing on console top to bottom the reason is that because in every step you will be able to see it is getting identified or not so every time you add any something first see that particular portion is working or not then only move further right or else anyway it will fail another standard is never use this only div or anything okay ideal way is like going with your um, entire one okay hashtag means okay kind of your css selector but yes ideal way is this one now there are multiple for example sometime this of the these things may not identify with single id or something you can merge both so normal xpath rules or those rules you can still imply over here right there are multiple ways to identify each of these elements right whatever way is feasible for you you can go with that there is nothing like uh, hard and fast rule that okay you need to do it so instead of cr search box if you want to go with id well go give it a try see if it is getting identified or not right uh, but yes anything you need to if you go for search box also it will write like cr search box hashtag search box 
so instead of that if only element is a property first property is enough that is fine why because this is a unique one so whenever you see there is a unique property pick that no need to identify the next means along with the header if you are picking the property or not you are not picking the property it would be pretty much same so cr search box is enough to identify so no need to put id so if you want to put id also there is no harm for example instead of cr search box i can write cr search box hashtag search box for example in the over here i can write hashtag search box okay it should be give it should give me the exact same there is no absolute problem in that right so standard is like when you find a unique one go with that right but if you want to add more it is not going to create any problem it is going to work as it is makes sense right so this is how we identify shadow root first point second point there are some websites where your shadow root can be identified using crow path or selector shop okay there are some websites where you can clearly open okay i have seen it in some of the page where selector sub is um, visible but i have ex tried to explain the one where selector sub is even not present so that it would be easy for everyone to go through the dom structure and identify it so the thumb rule is creating logic bottom to top writing on console top to bottom makes sense right one point to notice over here when you try to write this one make sure to click this one okay don't write it over here it will not be able to identify click this one and write this entire whatever we are trying to write inside this okay don't try to write over here it won't work click on this whatever expression comes you should write inside this makes sense right folks don't 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 confuse in this point folks thanks for watching the video i hope you folks have enjoyed it right and if you have any queries uh, you can ask it in the comment section right you can follow me on uh, linkedin uh, it's siddhar shukla right uh, and i do provide uh, one to one career guidance or any doubts uh, sessions using topmet so you can use um, topmet uh, the link you can find it in the description section to arrange one to one call with me i do provide sessions right and to end tested sessions which includes mobile automation ui automation api automation jenkins git uh, chat gpt for automation so everything i have clubbed together into one session and that also includes uh, one to one live uh, doubt clearances or mock interviews everything clubbed into that i have also added couple of peer programming session to that if you want to uh, opt for that you can find it in uh, topmet right you can go to my topmet link the link also it's provided in the description section right folks take care bye bye keep learning